So, it's been a minute since I've posted. Mainly because now I have a job. And you may think that might slow down development, which it will, but it also really help because now I have a source of revenue to help out with the game. And now I can also add cool effects to the videos like this. And this. Okay, well, maybe not that one, but you guys get the idea. But without any further ado, let's get into today's devlog. So first things first. In the old version of the game, there was an item system like you'd find in most MOBAs. You had a shop where you could get items and it would grant you buffs. However, I removed it from the game because I felt like it added way too much complexity to the simple arena shooter I was trying to make. But after playtesting the game for a while, I began to realize that this had too big of an effect. It made the game way too simple, and every round felt like the same, there's no real customization you could do to your character. This led me to revise the item system. I actually still had all the item references in the code, so this process went pretty quick. Other than some bugs with the items that caused critical strikes completely crashing the game, I had them up and running within the day I started. Then I got the crafting system working, and now we have a complete item system. There aren't many items right now, but there are enough to make little builds for your characters and explore different possibilities, and more items will definitely be added soon. But now let's talk about something I've wanted to add for the game for a long time, and that's the kill feed. <laughs> it's basically the same thing in my opinion. So I found this little cheesy announcer pack in my audio library and I just decided to use it. If this project continues to gain support, I might have the ability to change different announcer packs. And alongside the announcer, on the top right of the display, there's just a basic kill feed that shows the killer's hero and the killed hero. This devlog wasn't too eventful, but if you made it all the way to end, I have something for you. Next weekend on May 6th, I'm going to have a first live gameplay demo for the game. If you're interested, head on down to the description and join the Discord. That's where all the updates for the demo will be and how you can get a copy to play. And also, in the last video, I forgot to mention something huge. YouTuber Spiger commented a solution to the pathfinding issue I was having all the way back in devlog 2, and it worked. The plot's no longer crashing the walls like idiots. Big thanks to you, Spiger. Thank you guys for watching, like the video if you liked it, and leave a comment about what you think about the game so far. This is Bilo from the Asset Bakery, signing out.